Oh my god. Hi guys. Good morning. I just started the whole video and it wasn't recording. So, welcome back to another video. Today we have Ellie and Gabby. We are back at Dodge. Yeah, and we're good or bad? Some both. Uh, we don't have El Emma because she wanted to stay home and edit her videos. But yeah, we are back at Dodge. Mark's going to drive the car we're getting to see how it drives and vice versa. And then oh, Ellie wanted to bring Gabby so Gabby could see it. We haven't seen the car because it was being charged. Yeah, I was in the garage being charged. Well, aren't seen they the same it, exact thing that I drove? Yeah, but still, it's not the one. The batteries. So anyways, that's why we're here. Yeah. Let's get her down and get her over with. Can you drive it? Like All right, so we will let you know what our process is when we get out of the car. Yeah. Guess what? We're done we already. We got it! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're legit done at Dodge. Dodge. We won't be back. We're not lining up on the Civic. <laughs> um, so they had texted me. And I'm gonna wow, read you. Me. That's gonna be me, the yellow one right there, the Honda Civic, the green Goblin Civic. <laughs> I'm gonna read you the text. Hey, the lease on the Hornet is three ninety-two a month, no money down, and we'll pay you sixty-three thousand for the truck. Okay. So. <laughs> I said to Mark, okay, great. They went up, I think they had offered him 55 originally for the truck, 58, something like that, 58 actually. So I was like, okay, no money down, this will work. So, right. So what I did is I took 392 times 36 months. Wait, what was 392? The payment. Oh times 36 months and it was like 14,000 something so Mark has a loan on his truck so we would have had like 18,000 positive cash in our hand and I said Mark the money we make off your truck will pay for the three years of her lease I mean you basically could pay it in full and not have a payment at all that's perfect and we're like, yep, yep. She didn't want the Hornet anymore. She wanted the Buick. We had to talk her into wanting the Hornet again. And so we got up. Is that why you said no to the Buick? No, the no. Buick is too much it's money. Just it's too far off as well. So we were like, all right, let's go. So I text Melina. I said, we're on our way, yada, yada. We walk in and she said, where's the truck? And I was like, we didn't drive it today. And she's like, oh. I'm like, we want to drive the black car. And she was like, okay. Well, she's like, they want to talk numbers first. And I was thinking, this is weird. Why do we need to talk numbers first? Well, we were definitely not on the same page. Her text was supposed to mean, hey, the lease in the Hornet is $392 a month, no money down. That's not what that meant. She meant, they're keeping the money that we got from his trade-in, putting that towards the car, and there's no additional money down. That is not how I read that text. That was so misleading. So we're like literally 18,000 off. We were not putting $18,000 down on a lease. I wouldn't even have wasted my gas money to go over there. Putting money down on a lease is like throwing money away. It's pointless. You never get it back. All it does is make your payment cheaper. So I would never put any money down on a lease. Never. So there is no way in God's green earth would I put eighteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 down on a lease. So we said there is no way we're going to get numbers together. We are way too far off. See you later. So we left. And now we're going back to Honda where we originally started and we should have just stayed there. We should have negotiated numbers. I knew it. My gut was telling me this whole time we should have just stayed at Honda. I got teased. 
we did this when we went car shopping with Emma. Except Emma was dead set on her Honda Civic, so there really wasn't getting Emma to go to a different car, but we did go car shopping and then Honda is just a good car and you can get the Honda Civic. Lease deals are great. So anyways, we're on our way back and now we're gonna go back to the drawing board with the Honda. We are not trading in Mark's truck. We're gonna sell it outright ourselves or you can take it to a dealership. I mean, I could take it to Dodge right now and they would pay the same price. So if we can't sell it on our own, we can take it to a dealership or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So come with us back to Honda. Hello everyone. So my family just left. They are headed to another car dealership and then they're also going to dinner. I did not tag along because I've been getting some work done today and I'm still not finished and I have a brand deal to edit. So I'm gonna get that done and then um, turn that in. And then I think tonight I'm gonna go see the movie Twister. I really wanted to go to like a 40X movie theater, but the closest one to me is like two hours away in Naples, which is not ideal. I would have drove because everyone says that it's worth it, um, but it's also sold out. <laughs> Everyone has like the same idea because it's been all over TikTok and everyone says that seeing Twisters with like Glenn Powell, um, like the new one that just came out is so worth it because it's so much fun um, and the chairs like are crazy. So it's okay. I'm just going to go watch it like in a regular movie theater and call it a day because <laughs> that movie theater is only 10 minutes from me instead of two. So it is what it is, um, but if you guys have seen it in 4DX, let me know how it was because the stories are really funny and the TikToks are hilarious. Like people do like the before and after. So I'm gonna do that tonight around like 8.30. So today I really just unpacked. I imported a video, started editing that. I haven't finished yet. And then I started filming my brand deal because I like realized, I was like, wait a second, that's due tomorrow <laughs> because I was gone longer than intended. So I haven't been able to do any of my work. Um, so everything's kind of just like backed up right now. So I got that done. Um, I just have to edit it and then turn it in. So it won't take me that long. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. And then once I'm home from the movie, I'll just keep editing and call it a day. So it's been a pretty... Oh, it's a productive day just kind of catching up on everything responding to emails and stuff like that so yeah i also picked up my room and just had a chill day much needed um no rest because we need to get back to reality so i will do my laundry and like uh trip reset probably tomorrow um because no brand deals are needed to be filmed tomorrow so anyways that is my quick little update um i don't know what i'm gonna do about dinner really know we'll figure that out but once i head to the movie movies i watch the movie i'll let you guys know how it is and just keep you in the loop on uh, what else i do tonight it's literally getting ready to pour outside but i just changed because i'm heading to the movies so i'm just wearing this sweatshirt from cotton on and then just nike running shorts so let's go watch twisters I'm back. <laughs> i think the last time we talked we were Going back to Honda? Yeah, I think so. I believe that's right. It was after the shitty experience yeah. of Dodge. We left Honda. Um, and we had the deal we wanted. Yeah, so we were deciding between the Honda Civic Sport or the Honda Civic Sport Touring. Touring. There was like a hundred dollar difference in payment. Then Ellie wanted to look at a CRV real quick. I asked him to run numbers on a CRV just to see. And it was kind of the same payment as the touring. But the Honda CRV had less bells and whistles than the touring. Okay. So while we were deciding, first of all, our salesman named Val would not leave our side. Like would not uh, just sat there while we were discussing he seemed a little weird yeah because I've been honest with all of the dealers I've told them we've been doing this for days like you're not the only one 
yada yada yada. Well, there's no point to lie about it. We're, we have a right to shop. We have a right to look. We have a right to look for the best deal. And so he seemed a little meh, annoyed. But we ignored it. And so we're sitting there. And I called Emma. Because Emma's at home doing some editing and work, whatever. So I called Emma and I said, there's two pieces of paper on the counter. They were the deals for the Buicks. I said, can you tell me what the payments were with the money down? So she's reading them to me. He left, he came back, and he's sitting there, just have an attitude or whatever, and he's like, just tell me who I'm competing with, with an attitude. And I was like, Buick? But I just wanted to compare payments because you want to get the best deal and whatever. So I didn't lie, just said whatever. Needless to say, um, his manager comes over and I said, sorry, we just, we're having a hard time deciding. I wondered why he was coming back to. Yeah. I said, sorry, we're having a hard time deciding. He goes, it's okay, but could you do me a favor? And I said, sure. He said, next time, don't ever, ever call a dealership while you're sitting at my dealership. I looked at Mark, Mark looked at me, we looked at them. He was stuttering in his voice. You could tell he was nervous to even say it. Mark got up and walked away because he's Italian, you don't. Let's go. Yeah. He said, Ellie, let's go. I looked at him and I said, well, you kind of just screwed that up. He won't buy a car from you. And second of all, I didn't call a dealership. I was talking to my daughter and I showed him my phone that said Emma. I said, that's my last call. He's like, okay, you know, I was just saying, and I walked away. So as we were walking out, the store manager was walking in and we were pissed. We were like, screw this, what the hell, da da da. Like, the store manager calls us back and he's like, I don't know what happened. Um, I was walking in when you guys were walking out. I know obviously you left angry and I talked to my salespeople and blah 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 and I said first of all there's no law that says I can't call a dealership inside of a dealership like I have every right to and he said you absolutely do they should have never said it they should have never acted that way as you see our sales floor is dead no one's here buying cars so they were just freaking out that's how they feed their families and they were just trying to make money and I said I understand that but they should have never acted that way and he is like, you know, I still want to do the deal. You can come see me. They're leaving. They're going home. Da 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 da. And I said, I'll let you know. But we will definitely, even if we got a Honda, we would go to a different Honda dealership now. There's no way I would go back. And if they didn't have the car we wanted, I would just have that dealership get the car from them. <laughs> it's like, no. So, anyways, um, we are off to another dealership just to see. We only have an hour anyways. They all close, seven, eight o'clock. Um, and then Mark wants to go to Nissan. I wanted to go to Nissan. And then uh, we will be done car shopping for the day and we'll not be doing any car shopping for the rest of the week. I got stuff to get done. I have to get this house done and ready for pictures because I like have six days now. So uh, anyway, so we will see you at the next dealership if everything goes as planned. If not, we'll see you at dinner. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so as I, w I left, oh, I okay, so as I left, I was driving down like our main road to get to our house and there was a dead animal in the middle of the road. And as I'm driving, I was like going really slow. I saw a baby duck in the middle of the road and he jumped the curb to go to the grass. So I like sat there for a second. I was like, well, he jumped the curb. Maybe he's just following his mom. I put two and two together. And I was like, oh my gosh, wait a second. I think the mom 
was the one that was hit in the middle of the road and that's why the baby was in the middle of the road because he was by himself there was no other ducks there was no other babies so I kept driving and I was like, oh my god, wait, I literally almost started crying So I turned around and then I parked my car I put my hazards on and I found The baby duck there were no other baby baby ducks. I was doing this for like 30 minutes I made sure that there was like no other parent, but I'm pretty sure 100% that its mom was dead in the road. It was like hit by a car um, So I caught the baby duck I, I, I have it and I came home because one I needed a change because yeah, so, um, <laughs> I put it in this box. He's so scared. Where is he? He's so scared. I feel so bad. Oh, I'm literally gonna cry. <laughs> He's so scared. He was so scared when I was getting him. Um, stop, it's so sad. Because I know for a fact that it was the mom in the middle of the road. And he was all by himself. There was no other baby duck. So, I like, I parked my car. I turned around, parked my car, and then I called my mom. I was like, what do you want me to do? Like, I feel like I should get it because he's all by himself. His mom is in the middle of the road. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, so I got him. So, because I looked up before I even got out of the car. I was like, it, I looked up, can ducks survive on their own without its mom? And it said no. Like, you need to call, like, a resource center or something. Um, so I feel like, I hope I'm doing the right thing. So I got him. He's in this box. I, my mom's calling at, like, a resource center right now, like, a wildlife place um to see what we can do <sighs> i don't know i hope i really am doing the right thing but i i don't know guys oh my god <laughs> there he is mm. he's so scared i feel so bad sorry the lighting's really oh there he is oh my god i'm so so, so sad <laughs> stop i'm literally getting he's so scared <laughs> Okay, we're in a car. Ooh, Gabby's in the back seat with me. Move it. Oh yeah. Can I go? Are your mirrors ready? Yes. This is the lean back. Yeah. Well, there's a lever. It's further back. So we're in a Buick Encore. Is that what it is? It yeah. doesn't go like if you don't have it on the brake or whatever. Roll on the brake? Yeah, it doesn't move. Like it doesn't roll slow. Yeah. Where can I go? Where this? Where oh, the go? brakes are good. You want to go by work and haul? Just like that. Good brakes. This drive's good. I like. Oh, it does make. What? Nothing. Did you guys slam like that? No. Did you? No. It didn't appear, did it? Yes. No, it didn't appear. It's after you braked. It was like. It's cold. Turn my ear. Like an extra. I'm it's hot back here. Is yeah. Turn your. Big? Turn your heated seat on. Is what big? I mean, no, obviously not. I don't know how to open it. Oh. Should open twice. Yeah, there's something in there and then you take it out. No, you take that out, yeah. Y'all are like, Emma, why are you crying? I just love animals so much, so I feel so bad because his mom was dead in the middle of the road and I was like, I can't just like leave him there. He was like roaming all by himself, but um, oh, I just feel so bad like he has nowhere to go. So hopefully this wildlife place that my mom's calling, I'm gonna look to. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna make my movie or not because I was literally on the way to go there. So, oh my gosh, I just need like a second because I was literally chasing it down. Not chasing it, but just trying to catch it. Um, I threw like a little t shirt over it and then like scooped him up. Um, so, yeah. Um, it just makes my heart break. He's so scared. <laughs> so, I will keep you guys updated. I love how this just like turned. To a whole new chapter of dealing with the baby duck. I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. Oh my god. Hi guys. So we are in my final car. We are buying this one tomorrow. Or we're like signing the papers together or whatever. Not buying it. I don't know. But it is a Nissan something. Ultima. Yeah. SR. 
2024. I'll show you guys the inside. This is the steering wheel. Then there's the big screen. Then there's this. And it has like the red stitching too. And the seats are like really nice. And then also there's like... You can barely... Oh, you can tell. It's like the gray mats. And then and there's like stitching on that this like carbon fiber looking type thing. And then there's Gabby. <laughs> then there's a sunroof. And then there's the back. And there's literally like... It's a smaller car, but there's so much room. Like, there's so much, like, space in every seat. Like, the back seat has so much space. And, like, this is how the sunroof is. But and then there's a button to open the glass, I'm pretty sure. But the last car we sat in, it was literally, the inside was smaller than it. Yeah, the last car was, like, bigger. Like, the Buick was bigger, but it was so much smaller inside. And also, there's a big compartment in the middle. You probably couldn't see that. But yeah, it drives really good, and I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite that I drove and like saw out of all of them. So I'm actually really glad that I saw this one, and the speakers in it were also really good. So yeah, let's see this. You can oh. Oh, no, <laughs> this is how the little mirror is. <laughs> but I will show the outside too when I get out of the car. There's lights. Right. Oh, there's a sunglass thing too. But yeah, there's a lot of like cool stuff about this car. It has car play and stuff, so I'm actually like really glad. And this screen is really big too. And does the earphone charge? Yeah, here? there's a wireless thing. There's like so much in here, and I like it so much. And everything like feels so like nice in here. And it has red stitching, like you. Like. Yeah, I wanted like red stitching in a car. Like I've always had, like I've always had wanted it. Like since I was like younger. Like, I used to want, like, a Camaro with red stitching, but, like, every single car that I've wanted, I've, like, said with red, like, accent or whatever. Okay, here is the front. It has the little, like, SR thing. It's black and the tires. And then, I guess it is kind of, like, long. It's kind of really long. I mean, it's like a normal car. And then, like, the back. Uh, but, yeah, that is it. This is the car that I'm getting, so yeah. Time for an update. So the last time I filmed was like the beginning of when I found the dock. I brought it home because I needed a box to put it in. Because when I found it, I literally just had a t-shirt and it just kept squirming and like jumping out. And I just was like, I need a box. What? What? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Did you think it was her calling you? Yeah. What? Finish a video. <laughs> okay. So weird. So anyways, I brought it home because I needed the box. Um, I called my mom. I was like, what do I do? I don't really know the last time, like what I said last time. And she didn't get an answer from like any of the places. But my boyfriend actually showed up because I was going to the movies with him. And I was like, I have a booby duck. I can't like, I don't know what you want me to do. Did so, you miss the movie you were originally going to? No, we watched it. <laughs> um, so... He came and then I told him I needed him to drive back to where I found the baby duck to see if there are any other babies because I didn't want to like pull it from like its family or if like the mom or like the dad showed up. I don't really know what kind of like which duck it was in the road but it definitely was like its parent. Um, so yeah there was my mom finally got an answer I don't know by who but it's basically just like where we live it's like a wildlife rehab center just like a wildlife center um i spoke to him directly because i called him myself and i was like so when i drop it off like what happens and he was like we just take care of it we feed it we nurture it um make it happy make it healthy and then they will release it when it's old enough to be out on its own i did ask about like what if um like the parent comes back and he was like, they could reunite, like reunite it, like at the same place, because there's a lot of ponds around there. Um, but he just said, in most cases, we usually just like have to raise them on their own without a parent. So I don't know, but that is where we took him. And they were closed, but he told us to still come. So we got there around like eight o'clock, and yeah, so I filled out a form. Which was really cool because obviously like they needed the information and part of the section was my contact information and I circled yes because if when the duck is released 
they will call me or text me, email me and say, hey, we're releasing him on this day. Do you want to come and join? So that's <laughs> exciting. I'll be able to go <laughs> watch the release of the baby duck that I saved. Um, so that's exciting because I feel like if I didn't grab him, he would have been on his own and then probably would have died or got hit by a car. So um, I'm glad that he's in a safe spot. Um, Didn't he poop all over? Yeah, he did poop. Did he <laughs> No, just in the box. Like he was just so oh. scared. Um, I know a lot of people keep the ducks when they find them and raise them. Ellie wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to too, but like I just feel like life would have gotten in the way and my main priority wouldn't have been on the duck. So he just needed the best life possible and I couldn't I wouldn't be able to give them give him that because I posted a story and everyone's like oh my gosh keep him name him he's so cute it's like your child I'm like oh I know I bet I named him dot because he has dots on his back and I don't know what kind of duck it is um I couldn't really tell especially by like the one that was hit in the road I mean it was a little squash sadly but um they had like an orange beak and really big feet <sighs> Uh, so yeah, and the guy didn't tell me either what kind of duck he was. He just took him and then gave me my towels back and that was that. So I did end up making my movie. We went and watched Twister. It was a really good movie. It was really, really good. I understand as to why it's so much fun in 40X for sure. That would be really, really fun. But it was a good, it was a good movie. I did watch the first Twister a long, long time ago. I don't remember it, but the reference of like the twins is <laughs> funny. Um, but yeah, very good movie chaotic night but baby duck is safe we watched the movie and now it's time for bed so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon back more videos bye guys